Welcome back to Outside Today, where Outside Magazine's gear editor, Sam Moulton, is here to talk about the sport of cyclocross. I've read about it, I've seen it on TV. It seems like a really great event to get involved with. Yeah, cyclocross is great. It's one of the biggest uh, growing events, biggest part of the bike community. Uh, it's essentially a blend of mountain biking and road biking. And what are the races like? They're really awesome, actually. They're a couple miles long, and they go over all different kinds of terrain, grass, dirt, gravel, even creeks. And the really cool thing is that there's obstacles out there, both man-made, like dirt berms, <laughs> and natural obstacles that you literally have to jump off your bike, throw it on your shoulder, and run over. It's really cool. So is it in the city, or are you doing it in the forest? That's the cool thing about it, is you can have a course just about anywhere. Uh, and oftentimes, the race uh, planners will have it in like a city park, and they'll make the course sort of a clover leaf. So there'll be a beer garden, and it's really spectator friendly. That's my type of race. Can yeah. you drink a beer while actually racing? Yeah, some people <laughs> do. But it's like a, and it, it's a real festival vibe. People are ringing cowbells, like the bands play sometimes. There's food being served. It's and I really imagine cool. you need some specialized gear as well. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you can use a lot of your mountain biking gear, but you definitely, if you're going to get serious, want to cycle across a bike like this one. Uh, from Cannondale, and essentially a cyclocross bike is a beefed up road bike. So it's got bigger tubing, sturdier. It's also got a little more clearance in the fenders because it's often really muddy. And then the tires are a little bit wider and they've got a little bit more tread. And I bet you can just replace your tires with slicks. You can use this to commute back and forth to work. Seems like a good all-around bike as well. It is. That's the great thing about cyclocross bikes. Very versatile, you know, commuter bike, whatever you do, this is a great choice. Uh, the other thing that's really important, like I said, because it's muddy, are going to be your pedals yep. and your shoes. So we've got some pedals here. Yeah, so these are Crank Brothers egg beaters. Because they look like egg beaters. They do. <laughs> uh, and the wicked thing about these is that they just spit mud out the back. Nice. So they're literally self-cleaning. And that's a big problem in cyclocross. You get gunked up and you can't get in and out of your pedal and you need to quickly. So these are really great. They're from Crank Brothers. The other piece of critical gear is the shoes, mm -hmm. obviously. Uh, these are made by City, which are uh, some of my favorite shoes. And the key thing here is the traction. Right. Because like, you're literally jumping off your bike, running over berms. Exactly. Yeah, yeah you can't be flailing around. You need to be able to get up and over there, get back on your bike, and get racing. Yeah. Uh, and this is a great shoe for that. And uh, the other thing here. Little jar of love. Yeah, this is uh, called Winter Embrocation <laughs> by a company called Rafa. And uh, essentially, it's a balm, and it has some warming agents in it. scary. <laughs> no, it's not really. So the races are often cool weather. And so to get your muscles loosened up, warm up a little bit, put some of this on. Are you wearing it right now? I'm not. <laughs> you get that little tingly sensation? I, 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 yeah, I've worn it before. It works. <laughs> All right. Seriously? Thanks, man. Still to come, we take an incredible bicycle trip into Afghanistan. Nick Howe will be here to tell us all about it when we return on Outside Today, powered by Jeep.